two, three. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I'm your host, Matthew Horky. Hello, I'm Shireen Tan. So we're here at Mivan Mohor, downtown Zagreb, one of the largest distributors of Croatian wine within Croatia. Great shop, great selection. What do you think? Yeah, we come here almost once a week just to browse, of course, sometimes buy wine. But it's, they have pretty much everything that you want to drink in Croatia right here in the shop. Yeah, some real, they have like some producers, some mm -hmm. wines that are very difficult to find. So. Yep. We're talking about Istrian red blends today, and almost super Istrian type red blends. What is Ist what is Istria? What 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 do you like about Istria? I think Istria is particularly interesting because of the gastronomy offering that they have, and the wines, and sometimes even the food reminds me a little bit of Italy. Yeah, yeah. they have some nice acidity. Istria is a peninsula, heart shaped pen peninsula. It's owned actually mostly by Croatia. A little bit of it is Slovenian, a little bit of it is Italian, right, as well. Produce more Italian, a lot of Italian influence, the reds are more Italian driven. And we have Istrian red blends with international grapes and local grapes. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the local grapes, Tehran and Borgogna. What do you think? Uh, Borgogna, I'm not as familiar. I haven't tried many Borgogna or, or red wine with Borgogna blend. I leave that to you. But when it comes to Tehran, I particularly enjoy Tehran on its own or in the blend because there's just this distinct, like a, a, a blue red steak nose, like a blood onion nose on it that, you know, it goes through every single blend that yeah. you have. And it's so acidic. It can mm -hmm. be enamel ripping sometimes. So. What producers have done is started to blend it uh, with Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot, make a super Istrian type blend, mm -hmm. and the results are very. These wines are very distinct. Yeah, I find that so much more accessible. But again, the Terran doesn't lose its identity. It's still reckon there. The Terran shows up yeah. in the blend immediately. Uh, Borgonia is actually shown to be Blaufrankish, although some producers say it's its own grape. Mm -hmm. So let's get into some of the wines here. Uh, one of Shireen's favorite here, this is the Rosenich Super Istrian Cuvée uh, Merlot Cabernet Sauvignon Bourgogne 2009, which is the current release. What do you like about this wine? Uh, very accessible, especially at the age of 209, like eight years old. You got a tertiary notes blended really well. The primary fruit notes is still very very prominent and great structure, nice long persistent finish. And it's a little bit just a touch of breadiness, which uh, I like. I do. I definitely. There's a little, a little bit of breadiness. This yeah. is the only blend that does not have Tehran in it. The next one. This is probably. This is an awesome wine. This is the Kozlovitz yeah. Santa Lucia uh, Noir 2012 mm -hmm. Merlot Cabernet Sauvignon and Tehran. Uh, wonderful. Okay. The rest of these blends, like like this bad boy, also we like so much. This is the Ottocento by Clay. We talk about how much we like his wines: Merlot Cabernet Sauvignon, Rafosco, and Tehran. Mm -hmm. It's a fly. <laughs> yeah, a fly was getting at us. Uh, another similar one, this is the Damianich Clementi 2012 Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot Cabernet Sauvignon, Tehran, and Borgogna. So some interesting, these these three points are similar, as well as this one, the Coquelicot mm -hmm. Nomad. This is not on the market yet. Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Tehran, made by an Istrian French couple. Oh, sorry, let me tilt that so you can see it. What about these blends that have the Cabernet Merlot and Tehran in them? It's really fascinating for one thing is uh, we mentioned Tehran has a very distinct characteristic and in all of the blend you know there's Tehran inside. Yeah. There's no doubt that there's Tehran inside. Uh, secondly is I think across every single bottle there is a certain personality to each bottle. So this is cleaner but you know expressive in the mouth. Uh, to me, this is a little bit more early old world style, and uh, Grimalda I actually don't remember, you know. So, <laughs> this is what I haven't talked yeah. about these yet. These yeah. are the uh, two unique ones. This is the Matosevic Grimalda 2015. This is Merlot Turban, and then this is a unique one. This is Bruno Trapan's mm. The One, half Syrah, half mm. Turan. Very unique wines. Yeah. These two are unique because they don't have the Cabernet Sauvignon. This is just Merlot Turan, mm -hmm. Syrah Turan. Just interesting wines. I think if you're fans of Central Italian Reds, you're yeah. going to like these because they're very food yeah. friendly, right? This, we just had this a couple of days ago. I got to give a shout out to this wine. It's amazing tasting now, but put it in your cellar, forget about it for about five years. <laughs> it's going to shock you know anyone who's drinking this wine with you. It's amazing. So yeah. anyways, um, I think these wines are of high quality. Mm -hmm. Very high standard. 
if you have an international palate but you want to taste something Croatian still, this has enough Croatianness mm -hmm. and enough internationalness to go together, right? I absolutely so, agree. Yeah. Anything you want to add on Istria, these blends? Mm, yeah, definitely. If you're in Istria, you should check out Tocento, Klai as well, one yeah. of our favorite producers. Yeah. yeah. So check out the tasting article. We'll have it in the description box. Uh, you get all the scores and descriptions of this wines. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. I will see you at the next episode. See how long that was worth?